Dan Townsley here with Furcott Pro Tips. Today we're going to look at a situation where most adventure riders typically have existing tracks, tracks they got from someone, and they want to start their trip using those tracks or finish their trip or maybe insert them in the middle. Prior pro tips, we talked about how to insert track into the middle of your plan. But let's talk about now just setting up a plan from scratch using some tracks. So what today I'm going to do is uh, I want to start with a new trip. And I don't want to set up too many of the settings because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing. But I'll give it a name. Don't spell real well. And what I want to make sure I do, since I don't know exactly where I want to stop, and I'm not sure I want Furcut to automatically create stops for me, so I'm going to go in here and set my daily start stop times to the same time. And that will tell Furcut, do not automatically set my stop points for the day. I might also go in and set up, I'm a motorcycle rider, not a car, or a bicycle, or walking. I noticed I selected avoid highways. I do that out of default. And I'm just going to turn off hotels, campings, or homestays for now. Okay, so I've got my basic trip set up. I'm going to start with a file that I was given that has some routes in it. Say so they're tracks. And I'm going to select that file on my computer. Furcott's going to load that in the cache so that I can see all the tracks and the waypoints that are in that file. So here's a set of tracks that are in that file. And I'm going to select few of them because I'm not sure I want the whole route. So let's zoom in here and see what we're looking at. Ones I want to deal with are just on Newfoundland and then back to the mainland. So I can do it a couple of ways. I can come up to the map and select the route. In this case leg 7 track. So I'm going to select that Notice I get the open window, and I'm going to say route because it's going in the direction I want, and I know that because the start point is up here and the end point's down here, and that's the direction I want to go. So we'll add that one in. Now, to make life easier for myself, I can open the find drawer. Notice my data is still there. I can pin that find drawer to the map so that even if I close it, the data that's in that find drawer stays on the map. This makes it handy for me to just move along and add these tracks in as we go here. And at this point, I'm going to zoom in a little closer so that I can see what's going on. And the last track I added stops here. I want to add one more because I want to get up here to take this ferry line. So I'm going to select that part of the existing trip. And now I've added that to my trip. Okay, now I noticed that there was an existing continuation here. So 11A was the last track I added, so 12 should get me back to the mainland on this ferry. So I'm going to zoom out here just so I can see what's happening. And now I'm going to add 12. Yep, there's 12. I'm going to add 12 in. Oh my! It seems that Furcott's routed me all the way back around Newfoundland to a different ferry instead of the one I wanted. 
Hmm. That's probably due to the fact that Google is not providing route data for that ferry. But they are providing route data for this ferry. So that's okay. I can correct that. And I'll show you how in just a second. But I want to finish adding my final route. Leg 13. And there I have it. So let's take a look now at what we have. And I want to show all of my pass-through points so that I can see each leg of my route as I come through it on the map here. So here's my first leg, second, third, fourth, all the way down till I get to this leg here between point 11a and point 12. Well, so I don't want it to route like that. Now, I'm not sure exactly if I want to use this ferry, but I'm going to change this route to use the ferry anyway, and I can do that by opening this route, selecting the route type, change it to Other. And now you'll notice I have a direct line between two route segments. So I have my last route segment, my direct line, which now is representing the ferry, and my route after the ferry. So let's take a look at this ferry route. Well, it tells me that the duration of that thing is like 18 hours and 38 minutes. I've already checked the ferry line website, and I know that it's 16 hours. So I can actually update that right here in my trip plan now, so that all of my preceding and successive trip lengths are going to adjust time-wise appropriately once I decide to set my daily stops. So there we have how to get started with a set of tracks and a slight hiccup in the middle where I need to reroute using the other or direct track feature. Hope that helps you out in your planning. Talk to you soon.